hi sweeties how are you doing welcome to naya sim and thank you all so much for all the love and support hope you all are doing great today we'll be talking something very important and it's a video that i found very offensive but the fact that some people are totally blind and not saying the truth it's very concerning the fact that this young man or this old man actually came out to say that if he does not win the election that there is going to be shedding of blood and the rest of it and i am asking whose blood does he want to shed let me start with that one first if there is anything to shed i think he should start going one after the other to all the people campaigning for him the people that have been lying to him that he is fit for the position and all that he should start getting the one after the other because i feel like they've been lying to him all this well and the fact that this man is a threat to human life and he is working freely and everybody is doing like nothing is happening for the fact that he said this like on television i think it's really crazy it's crazy that somebody so it means democracy is nothing like you know nobody cares about democracy and all of that and let me say this if you are going to be if you are uh uh if you are scared of losing when it comes to election it means you are not politically ready you are not like you know mentally strong for politics and all that because in politics it's either you win or you lose but coming to threatening people that if you do not that there is going to be problem that is your problem you know what i don't get elected it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole that's going to be the least of it it's going to be a bloodbath for the country at this point in the game Trying to parse a word like bloodbath strikes me as being entirely absurd. He's violent. He, in the same speech, he calls the people, hundreds and, thousands, hundreds and over thousands, who beat up cops a block or two away from where we're sitting today, he called them unbelievable patriots. This is violence, violence, violence. So when he says the word bloodbath, uh, he knows what he's doing, whether he means an economic bloodbath or something else in the same speech, he is endorsing political violence. And then when he says, you're never on another election again, if I don't win, well, that too has a tone of violence to it as well. Mm -hmm. The only way to, to, to take power would then be to use violence if there are no elections. If I get elected, now if I don't get elected, it's gonna be a bloodbath for Just the thing I want to hear from a future president of the United States. <sighs> if I'm not elected, I'm going to be a bloodbath. You're not going to get elected, you stupid son of a bitch. That's the fucking problem. You don't get it. You have or been enough made the point of never and the same means never being the president of the United States. However, if you're not elected, which we know you're not going to be fucking elected, you say that uh, that if you're not elected it's going to be a bloodbath. Well, what the fuck you think we're going through right now? You're not even a fucking elected. And it's already a bloodbath. You make me fucking sick. Dude. You don't win. You bitch about it. You don't win. You bitch about it. And I'm talking about 2021 and 2024. But the thing about it is, is that you said out loud. We already knew that you were an evil son of a bitch. We already knew you're an asshole. We already knew that you were the scum of the fucking earth. But you said it out loud. So now the whole world is. But some of you Trump follower motherfuckers decide you're still gonna vote for this bitch. You're gonna fucking learn. You're never going to fucking learn. Never. 
going to learn that this some bitch is for himself. Himself. Fuck everybody else in the damn damn audience. Fuck everybody who's listening. It's for himself. And the sooner that you understand that, the better off we all fucking will be. So let's get Brandon. Who the fuck is Brandon? I've asked this a thousand times. Who the fuck is Brandon? His name is Biden. Joseph Biden. Not Brandon. Biden. Guess what? But this goes to show you that um, he didn't win the first election, so he sent a bunch of rednecks to the hill to disrupt shit and to steal the fucking election. Now, you're saying that if you do not win this fucking election, it'll be a bloodbath. Hmm. Sounds like the same bullshit to me. You won't concede, because that's not your way. No. Concede. What the fuck, the fuck is that? However, if you do not win, there'll be a bloodbath. You motherfucker. You asshole. You bitch. <laughs> it, it, it boggles my mind. How can someone fucking elect you? How the fuck does someone vote for you? After all the shit that you have said over the years and years and the four years that you've been living with this bullshit, how can someone vote for you? But Beth, that's a good thing to say to a future president of the United States, if you fucking win. But if you don't win, there'll be a bloodbath. Nice. So, what you're saying is that if you do win, you'll get a dictatorship. If you don't win, there'll be a bloodbath. There is no fucking ins or outs for you, is it? Then or that. Either or. Ying and fucking yang. I don't get it. I really don't. You didn't want the fucking job in the first goddamn place, you some bitch. You didn't want the goddamn job. But now that you had the job. You don't want to fucking let it go. If, 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 if I didn't win, it's going to be the bloodbath. Wow. Out loud. For people in the bleachers, the people in the back. Nosebleeds. You want the fucking job in the first goddamn place. But you've gotten the taste of the old office. Ah, yes. Sitting behind this big ass brown desk with the symbol of the President of the United States in the middle part of it. Everybody kissing your ass. That's what you want. You don't want the votes. You don't want the people. Hell, you don't want any goddamn thing. You want the power of the presidency. Still in those goddamn boxes. You know why you did that? The immunity of the presidency. Sending all those fucking idiots to the goddamn capital. You know why you did that shit? Because of the president, the power of the presidency. And you want that back. So much that you say dumb shit every single fucking time. Including, if you don't win, there'll be a bloodbath. You stupid motherfucker. I hate you. I fucking hate 
you. Hate your guts. The first four fucking years. You ruined every goddamn thing. Everything. You ruined health. You ruined life. You ruined money. The economy. Every goddamn thing. Everything you fucking touch turns to shit. You're opposite of mice. The mice touch. You the shit touch. And the shit that flies at your motherfucking mouth is horrendous. It's disturbing. It's fucking wrong. And yet, people still kiss your ass. You shouldn't be running for fucking president in the first goddamn place. I still don't get that shit. But, if you do not win, and we all know that you are fucking not going to win, asshole. But if you don't win, it's going to be a bloodbath. Your lips to God's fucking AK-47. We can't, can't get away from you. You're like a virus. You're like the COVID virus. The one that you said was a fucking flu. Yeah. You're just like that. You just won't fucking leave. Well, Mr. Bloodbath. Hope you get ready for the Bloodbath. Because you're not going to fucking win. Good-minded people would know better than to vote for your stupid ass. And if you don't win, which you know you're not, there's not going to be a bloodbath. Hell, it's not going to be a blood shower. So keep your comments to yourself. If you can't say nothing nice, don't say nothing at all. And better yet, shut the fuck up. That's all you got to do. Shut the fuck up. Moron. Now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole... That's going to... So, I had one cup of coffee this morning. I had uh, a couple of cheese danishes. Um, I just now finished a new opening for my videos. When I do my little long-form videos and stuff like that. It's fucking fantastic. I think it's absolutely great. Um, I love being able to edit and do those things. Oh, I'm sorry. Was I supposed to address what he just fucking said? Why? So I can have a bunch of people tell me he didn't fucking say it? That's not what he said. And if it is what he said, it isn't what he mean. And if it is what he meant, it's not what he said. Why are we even addressing it? We we know Trumpers are just, yeah, it's blood bath. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's talking about y'all dumbasses. He's talking about if he don't win, y'all gonna go out and ride in the damn streets and somebody gonna pew pew your stupid ass. He's talking about you. But please, pretend like he didn't just fucking say that. I don't get elected it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole that's going to be the least of it but here's the thing they allow him to say those type of things because usually if you even say the word the b word to to anybody like a postal worker and everything that would be a federal offense he has been saying and doing things and this country has gave him the entitlement to do that january the 6th was an insurrection and he made history by going on social media and ranting and raging and talking about how this country is biased and this and all kind of stuff. And he had people following him like Jim Jones had followers to basically drink the Kool-Aid. And this is what he does. And you guys are listening and making comments. I bet you if he was a black man, and he turned around. Yes, there was. There was many black leaders who basically said things, but they also made sure that they, they said things in a way to have, how can I say it, in words of expression, but not to harm the economy and not to harm anyone. They had peaceful demonstrations and peaceful talks. And you guys said that they were terrorists and you guys assassinated them. I'm not saying for this man to be in those predicaments because no one should take another person's life. And I'm not thinking about that. 
But what I'm trying to say is that this man has been saying things out of his mouth without any filter, which is a detriment and a harm to society. And you guys have been allowing him, and I'm referring to people in his race, okay? He's been saying many things out of his mouth that to me is a, is a way of causing violence. But you guys allowed this situation to happen. From the time he's been doing idiotic things and things that was mischievous and also a menace to society, you guys should have turned around and nipped into the bud. You guys allowed him to be elected as president, giving him the constitutional rights to do that. And now he turns around and says that, and he says it extremely in social media. And you guys are sitting there making comments and not allowing him to zipper his mouth. Okay, and then he has people that's riding with him that will say that and listen to it and say, yes, he's right. We're going to do something about that. And then guess what? Innocent people get harmed with this situation. But you guys want him as a leader and want to vote for him. So when things don't get in his way, this is he's not going to act like an a, 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 as a executive tree, a profession. He's going to act like a dictator. Okay because we don't have democracy in here. Obviously, you can let savages be running this country, okay? And he is a savage. Even some of the people them that makes comments supporting him act like savages, because how dare you talk about him? You see the difference is the negative influence that he does. And then when you're hearing people talking about, oh, he's going to allow the Christianities to come inside. And the same Christianity people are listening to him because they themselves act like savages too. Okay? But these are people, when they say racist things, this TikTok act, kiss the ring, and bend all fours and put their feet up and allow them to be their footstool. But little things that I say, they take it as a context and say it's Mr. Seward and want to put you in community guideline. But don't worry, United States gonna put y'all in community guideline if you don't give them what they want because their attitude is the same attitude as, as Donald Trump, okay? If they don't get what they want, they become very facetious and very vindictive, all right? Yes, and you guys have seen that TikTok, how the way they display and do things, okay? But you're still doing it to us in the black community. You have this Asian woman talking about how the way the Caucasian people were being over slaved and this and chattel slavery and everything. Well, she's not telling the whole entire truth that will happen, but she don't get community guideline. You have Donald Trump saying this on a press conference while he's standing there in a convention with his red cap on and starting the same type of foolishness that he did before in, in January 6th, okay, which was considered as a revolution. And they try to sugarcoat it and say insurrection. It's the same thing. It's only different. It's, it's, it's a, just a different word. Okay. But same meaning. All right. This is the same man who allowed the Ku Klux Klan to march. I believe it was in South Carolina and started a whole raid where massive people got injured and murdered. And he did not get accountability for it. And he came out of his mouth and he never apologized. This is the same man that said that the Haitian government and the people in the Haitian is poor and poverty and he had nothing to do with it. It's the same man when Puerto Rico was in an earthquake or a hurricane, he turned around and said he didn't know that Puerto Rico belonged to us. And he threw paper towel. Okay? And remind you, those were aids that other people had put their money in and donated. He didn't donate anything. This is the same man who has so much indictments for fraud, for his taxes, application. This is the same man that's going to ruin the economy with the banking because you see how he did fraud with banking. And also with the World, and also with the World Trade Center because he was doing inside trading. This is the same man when he wanted to get bailed out because some people will go to prison for all the indictments that they had for him in the federal jury in New York. That's why I said New York doesn't have a backbone. They only have a backbone for certain people, okay? But with Trump, they made a negotiation deal for him to pay off the money, okay? But he still can serve and run as president, okay? Y'all talk about Biden and his Hunter Biden and how they did th things and illegal stuff and all that stuff. They all do it. They all do it. These were people that was not born with money.
not the type of extressing money that they're supposed to get and they want to be rich and they want to be greedy. These are the people them that had ancestors that stole land from people. These are the same people that turned around and tarnished the same good old America by having all the natural resources going to foreign countries because they wanted cheaper labor. And then meanwhile, it, it kind of blew up in their face because guess what? The foreign people said you have to pay taxes and you also have to pay us more, okay? And, and also made them rich where they also can learn to colonize as well. So these are the same people. And then you have Trump as leading. When you look at all the proud fathers, which was called executive chiefs and presidents and even senators, they're the ones that demolished their economy. These are the same people that went and go colonize and go mine other people's business. Remember, Trump was Putin's friend. He got he made him and Trump. They were business partners. So how you think that Putin is able enough to be so successful to form a BRICS, make alliance with people, and start doing government and ruling and, and also sanctioning and all that stuff? All because of Trump, because Putin knows everything about us. Then I heard he has another leader now he's playing with, okay? His daughter married somebody from Le Lebanon, okay? And they come from a high class something. So he's connected if any type of thing that he's supposed to do. Okay, but this is going to be your president for 2024 and 25 because you guys want to vote for him. You guys don't look at the material and the views and look at the striation of things. You guys are mostly looking at the fact that Trump can make us have a good tax cut and we can get a good tax refund. We can get the tax tracks and this and everything. But remember, meanwhile, he was cutting a lot of things to please his good old boys, his friends behind the scenes. And he's still going to do that. And it's going to be worse. So this is all I got from the stitches, and uh, I really don't know where, where to start from, but first of all, I am going to say that this is um, a threat to democracy and a threat to people's lives and all that, because saying that there is going to be a bloodshed or something if you lose election is uh, out of order. And you all know that uh, he has always been out of order for a longer time, but then it is what it is, just that... Uh, and looking at this, the fact that a lot of people are actually out there speaking up for him and uh, campaigning for him and showing their support to him is really amazing because somebody that came out to say something like this, it means that he is not ready to uh, to accept defeat if a paraventure he did not win. So he cannot stand being uh, defeated, right? And uh, I really just do not understand how this is happening, but it is happening, right? And uh, the fact that nothing is going, uh, nothing is being done, because I do not know how somebody was uh, like, you know, during a campaign or like, you know, tell people that if I do not win, there is going to be a problem. I mean, saying it on earth and people are hearing that people are listening to that the truth is that if there is anybody you need to hold accountable or if there is any blood that he want, like you know he wants to shed and all that i think he should start with his uh, campaign manager and some most of the people that has been supporting him and telling him that he is fit to be the next president and all that because i feel like they have been lying to him and all that so he should start getting all of them one after the other and start sharing with start, start with them first because they have been lying to themselves and also lying to the to the world that he is going to win or he is uh, a perfect uh, candidate for this and also a lot of people are saying that uh, we need to repent we need to accept christ and at the same time they need uh trump for 2024 because he is the messiah so he should go one after like go after the one after the other and that would be a well done job i mean a great job but threatening people's life because this is uh, a threat to people's lives and all that because saying that uh, if we do not vote for you or if you ever lose and all that it means that uh, it is not going to sit well with you you are not ready to uh you are not ready for politics because it's either you win or you lose and the fact that a lot of people like really it's really amazing how people are out there campaigning for this man and being coming all, all out it's really crazy but then some people are weird some people's mindset are very weird some people are wired differently 
they are not saying that uh, what he is doing that is true for some people are not saying what uh, what he is doing wrong or the things he has done wrong they feel like he is the perfect candidate for this but man i really do not know because i am not in for make america great again but what i am saying is this statement is actually a threat to democracy and he should not be walking around freely see you all in my next video bye for now